Deep Valley is a low impact eco community in southwest Wales that's been going for the best part of 30 years and shows no signs of stopping now. The valley itself is an abundance of wildlife and natural beauty and is speckled throughout with a number of different nomadic structures and shelters with still over 100 inhabitants living peacefully in harmony with nature. Teepee Valley started on uh, these amazing teepees with an open fire and an open fire is a really really powerful thing in the context of a home. You've got this round home with a fire in the middle and the only way to be comfortable you put rushes on the floor with your sheepskins on that and you cook ar around the fire and your lighting comes from the fire and the heat comes from the fire and your family is together around the fire and the children learn around the fire and uh, doing that in this wonderful round space s somehow has such a deep resonance within oneself because in fact it's what our ancestors have done for hundreds of thousands of years until the last couple of thousand. It's just salads that I've got you know, a bit of parsley as well. Mm. They grow quite the peppers big. and that and tomatoes in here yeah. and stuff in the summer and uh, sweet corn. Do people keep their own animals for sort of dairy products and other things? Only, we got chickens. Is that just for eggs? Are most yeah. people are vegetarian? Yeah. And not everyone's veggie here. Pretty much everybody uses solar panels because um, it's just the most practical for us. There is a wind generator here, but it's not so efficient because the wind isn't constant. We don't have to have meetings discussing what it is we believe like some communes mm. have to keep their brains together as, it, as to what they do to us it's completely obvious it's it's nature gives us everything and being a part of that is just what it's about to whatever degree we can get into it uh, and that is what's wonderful about TP Valley in that, uh, that we've had some land best part of 30 years now and which has reverted a lot of it to um, what it wants to be which is a temperate rainforest and uh, we're very proud and very lucky to be a part of it. I mean, it's a really good opportunity and a rare one these days to live a lifestyle which I, well, I dreamt about it when I was a kid, you know, but I never believed I could actually find a place to do it. What did your, your son learn while he was growing up here? Oh, well, he built his own um, home at the age of seven with a little bit of help, and he had quite an extensive garden and a greenhouse where he grew his own food. Um, he used to know how to do cooking as well. When he was a kid, he learned how to do his own cooking. Not only grow the food, but cook it as well. Um, what else was I saying? No. <laughs> and um, when he was 16, um, he decided that he'd wanted to try formal education. So he went to um, the um, local college in Llanethi and um, as I say, he's never been in school in his life, and he came top of the year. And now he's in um, Aberystwyth University studying computer science, and as I say, he's never been in a school in his life. So it goes to show that there's more than one way of doing things. Thank <laughs> you.